200k left, 200k left. Being slow has its benefits, guys. Our favorite sight in the morning. An empty albergue. Those silicone earplugs, man, they really do good. You don't get this when you get up at 6 in the morning. No way. You're tripping over each other, bags packing in the dark. Here, we just chilling, dog. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Guess what? We did two, wait, no peanut. Guys, guess what? What? It's day 41. Oh my gosh. And we're wait, who's an this guy? Important milestone. You just revealed the secret. Oh! We only have 200k left till the end. Party! We are 75% of the way done with the freaking Camino de Santiago. Awesome. It feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Also, our albergue last night in Camponayara had no checkout time. She's like, eh, whenever you want. I was like, I said, whenever don't, we don't, want. Don't test us because it is 10.30. How's July sound for you? Yeah, man. And <laughs> right? I, oh, everyone's laughing. And I feel like a million fucking dollars because I love sleeping. Yeah. I'm ready to go now. I love coffee. Ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> Too much shouting. Goodbye. Sabrina's actually purchasing cherries instead of stealing them. I yesterday that now I want some. Oh. Yikes. Hopefully these don't have uh, pesticides, on yeah, pesticides on them. Yeah, Beep. Is that, is that good? Yeah, look at them cherries, girl. Look at them cherries. In classic Camino style, the guy that Sabrina just bought those cherries from <laughs> sneezed all over him. Classic. <laughs> I won't be having classic. any of those. A little food cart in the middle of the forest. Look at that. Look at that look, guys. Hey, that, is a, that is a sex, sexy man. Long Beach, man. Long I, Beach. I don't know what that has Skaters, to do with Long Beach. You know? <laughs> All right. That is some toast. Take a look at this toast, guys. Holy moly. Toast. With the most. Hi, puppy. You want me to throw it? It's pretty slobbery. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. This is one of my favorite things about the Camino. These little oases. Oasises? In the middle. Oasis. Of, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Near rivers. They're really lovely. What's the plural of oasis? Alright, make that number three. Just forgot my sticks for the third time. Oh today. my god. I think it's because I'm feeling so well rested and strong that I don't need them and I just keep walking away. And you're not even drunk but yet. Some fancy there she goes. First sticks for the third time today. It's snowing. It's like snow, but it's tough. It's snowing, everyone. Pretty cool. Look at that little bunny. Look at that bunny. Look at that bunny. Hi, little bunny. Walking through vineyards again today. Life is tough, guys. Life is tough. Cheers. I'm mostly here for the air conditioning. Hey, look, it's Sabrina. Look at that. There she goes, hiking with the wine in her bottle. We're always looking at places through like a business lens, even though we're not entrepreneurs or anything. But we always like to point out wasted opportunities. So this is a tasting room. It's a winery. Their wines are actually really good. Um, on the way to the next town, the pilgrims literally walk right here. But there's this giant gate, this whole area out here where there could be tables and music and umbrellas for shade and there's none of that. So everyone just keeps on walking. Maybe they don't walk us far. It's true man. Just maybe throw a... like, maybe they think photos are annoying. Yeah, maybe they maybe they're right. They want to stay a secret. <laughs> because they walk by and judge their business. <laughs> but uh, I mean an umbrella for the shade. This is a this is a pretty 
good little uphill walk, man. Uh, have ice cold water. Anything, anything to get somebody in there and they're gonna buy some more water. Yeah, I'm just saying, if they want it, if they're in it for the money, they could, they could quadruple their sales overnight. Thank you, Kevin O'Leary and Marcus Limonis for all that you've taught us. <laughs> uh, hire Yes Camp for all your Spanish vineyard business needs. Holy moly, that stretch between uh, Casabellos and Villafranca. No shade. Hot, yo. Last hour, we've just been hustling, sweating, trying to find a shady spot. And now we just sat down and we are devouring the remnants of every random snack that has been in our bag for the past yeah, week. This is an American <laughs> meal right here. All the junk food. If I could offer one tip today, it is that it is so important to keep your feet dry. Yeah, man. Wet feet equals blisters. At least once a day, we stop. And take off our socks and our sock liners and dry out our tootsies. Air them food. And if your feet, if your socks are wet, then put on fresh ones. Keep them feet dry. It's just like Vietnam. <laughs> just, just, just like it. Look guys, it's getting green and mountainous again. And uh, whiny. Whiny and tree-y. So this is Villa Franca del Bierzo. Kind of sneaks up on you in the middle of nowhere, and then this little hidden town Boo! appears. This place is pretty cute. These little narrow streets. And here is our home for the evening. See ya. Reese is ready for a brewski. Welcome, lemonade. Cool. And it's very welcome. Look, it's really cute. It's a bar, a little loungy area, and cherries from the neighbor's garden. Yummy. You guys, this place is amazing. For 10 bucks each, she gave us our own little tiny room right opposite this little patio. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. This place is adorable. Look at this. A plus. This is how every glass of wine should be. Mine, giant. Yours, tiny. Look at that. Look at this. I love it. So. You're in. I'm in. What do you think? I love it. We are so blessed to be with these guys tonight. I don't know if we'll ever see them again because they're hardcore athletes and they hike 900 miles a day, but uh, we are very grateful that we had one night with them. So thank you so, so much. Thank you, guys. That was guys, a... we forgot the Alberger has a 10 o'clock Oh my God, review. we're so in trouble. They always do, but usually we're in bed at like 9. This is the first time we've been out being Bad little bad babies. Kids. Oh my God. <laughs> but it was hard to tear ourselves away from that. That was such a fun Amazing. night. Amazing. Our group was so cool. So, so many good stories shared. Oh it my gosh. It actually makes us sad that we are not hiking bigger days. Because yeah. I'd love to stay with those folks. Yeah. But they're athletes. Really true, yeah. good, good-hearted people. That was an awesome night downstairs doing internet things and look at this lovely little bed that Reese made for me with my headphones so I can listen to a podcast and my sleeping bag and my sheet and everything all made up. You are a real nice guy. Yeah, I love you so much. I love you. Good night.